it's Stephanie Bennett again here in The Secret Place. I, I've got Thomas Kelly again. I can't help it. He's so encouraging to me. There's just, and he's quoting Brother Lawrence and how much he learned from Brother Lawrence. We talked about Brother Lawrence a few months ago. Do you remember? Um, he said this of Brother Lawrence. He said, um, with delight, I read Brother Lawrence in his practice of the presence of God. At the close of the fourth conversation, it is reported of him. He was never hasty nor loitering, but did each thing in its season with an even, uninterrupted composure and tranquility of spirit. The time of business, he said, does not with me differ from the time of prayer. And in the noise and clatter of my kitchen, while several persons are at the same time calling for different things, I possess God as in a great tranquility, just as much as if I were on my knees at the blessed sacrament. Oof. The time of business does not differ for me from a time of deep, deep falling on my knees in prayer. Gosh, that is so beautiful. I think um, I was reading Romans 12 this morning. I'm working on the, um, the passage to try to memorize it. Let's see if I've got it. It says in Romans 12, verse 9, um, let love be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in brotherly affection. Honor one another um, above yourselves. Be um, joyful in hope, patient in affliction, and faithful in prayer. That's that's uh, 12, 12, that last one. And faithful in prayer. Why does God call us to be faithful in prayer if he already knows what we're going to say? If he knows all things? I'm sure you've thought of that. That's the kind of thing you get from a lot of children and teenagers, like, well, why do I have to pray? Because God already knows everything, right? Well, why do we pray then? Paul calls us to be faithful, faithful in prayer. He says to pray without ceasing, but be faithful in prayer. Don't you know, I mean, I, I'm just, I mean, I see this now too. Prayer is something that is, it calls us into a discipline of remembrance. It reminds us whose we are. It reminds us, where we look to for our help. From whence comes our help? I look to the hills. My help comes from the Lord. It reminds us, and, and when we're praying for others too, it reminds us not only of their needs and how we might serve them in their needs, but it creates a deeper love for them in our soul. Like when, when Paul says, be devoted to one another in brotherly affection. How do you become devoted to a sister or brother in Christ, a friend, at church or at work or in the neighborhood, how do you become devoted to them? Um, not by ignoring them, by praying for them, lifting them up to the Lord. Um, it's such a beautiful thing. I love the fact that God created a, re a relationship possibility for all of us with him that didn't include having to go to a special building, having to dress a certain way, having to speak it a certain way, but just it could be in the time of business it could be in the time of cooking and cleaning it could be in the time of grooming it could be wherever we are we could lift up a prayer we could lift up our heart we could lift up our eyes lift up our countenance to our beloved god the one who made us let's not forget to pray you know we need to to quote scripture again i'm like all scripture this week i just being immersed in it again and i I love the feeling of it, that we need to remember the things we knew at first. And that is to be faithful in prayer. You know, I think sometimes, you know, we, we pray a lot for others and we pray about things in our own lives. We don't always have to talk about them, but sometimes we do. And when you can tell someone, you know what, you've been on my mind and I've been praying for you. That can really encourage a soul. It, it really encourages me. When I've had someone say that to me, thank you for praying for me. I hope you'll pray for me. If you've come back back and forth here on The Secret Place, I hope, I hope to know that you'll be praying for me. I'm thinking of you, every single person who comes, whether you leave a comment or not. And I thank God for you. And I thank God for the opportunity to address you in these small but hopefully special ways. Let's remember to be faithful in prayer. Okay? Well, until we meet or I see you or we speak again, have a wonderful week, a blessed day. Bye now.